Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Hand, and I'm a UI designer at Samsung, that's my day job. Uh, nights and weekends I like to have fun doing other little things. In 2008, I was freelancing as a UI designer, and I uh, made this little thing called Mobile ESP, which I'll be telling you about tonight. So I had a need at the time to uh, make a website for a client, and we wanted to detect a mobile visitor. You know, so we could send that visitor to mobile optimized content. Of course, at that time it was iPhone and so on, uh, but Android was coming out. I knew the browser was as capable as iPhone browser, right? But uh, you know, Symbian products were very common at the time in BlackBerry. But you know, as you probably all are quite aware, um, all mobile device browsers aren't exactly created equal. So what I wanted to do for this project was send iPhone and Android traffic to the really nice touch-optimized kind of uh, web experience, and then send other ones to a sort of generic mobile website where there's no CSS, and it's really great for uh, non-touchscreen devices. But there wasn't any really good product that could do that, so that's why I created this uh, mobile ESP library. So you know, why mobile ESP? In general, there's a lot of need you know, to your website may have a need to send somebody to a mobile optimized website. You know, that means no Java, no Flash. You know, a lot of regular desktop sites, of course, assume broadband nowadays, which means giant, massive picture files, tons and tons of little files. You know, with mobile websites, what you want to do is do a lot of optimizations. Uh, so with, with this kind of knowledge, you can easily do that. Um, what's uh, also important is that nowadays in 2012, the growth of traffic, web traffic, on mobile devices is huge. It's not something that we can ignore anymore. Whether it's your restaurant that still has its menu in PDFs, ugh, or you know, some other website. You know, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of great reasons to know, is this visitor on a mobile device? And if so, what kind? Um, so uh, what's also cool about uh, mobile ESP is that there's a very simple API. And that's what I wanted for myself. I just want to know, is it a mobile phone or not? So that's like the detect mobile quick uh, method. But sometimes you might want a little more granularity. So the API has a bunch of classes or a bunch of functions built in for really hopefully thoughtful uh, types of questions like that. Like I just want to know, is it iPhone tier phone device, like iPhone or Android or WebOS or some others? Or is it a tablet or a game console? And to just get a quick yes or no, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, here's an example of how, how to iterate it. So uh, with this PHP code, I originally wrote the code in PHP, uh, and I wanted it to be dead simple. One line, include the PHP object. Second line, instantiate the object. And the third line, ask it a question, whatever you're looking for. For example, if you just want to know if it's a mobile device, you can use this question here. And then if the answer is yes, then you can do whatever you need to. For example, on a, uh, on a website that is offering an app, but maybe you created an app and you want to have a mobile version of your website. If it's an Android app, you can highlight uh, a link that says detect Android phone and optimize like a link to the Android app market. Or if it's an iPhone, you can optimize a link for that market. You know, little things like that could be really useful. Um, so, Dead simple, and I wrote this originally in PHP and JavaScript. What's super cool is that the community has, because uh, I've open sourced this in like 2009 or something, so the community has uh, ported this product or this free code into uh, Ruby, Python, um, ASP.NET, two flavors of that, classic DB script, and the APIs are consistent across all of them. So if you know one, you know the other. Just go to the mobileesp.org website and um, you can browse that stuff. All right, now I included this last year at WIP Mother Hackathon. I gave a 10 minute talk on uh, mobile detection code and I wanted to quickly provide an overview of what if you need something more? <laughs> so uh, there are a couple of tools here. Wurfl, a lot of people have probably heard about. It's uh, open source, but the guy who started it started a for profit company. So you can also get a commercial license and commercial level support. Uh, Device Atlas and handsetdetection.com are the two other big ones. But all three of these are really big products. You have to take your website and do deep integration with these different libraries. Uh, but they're really good if you want metrics or analytics, or if you want to know very detailed information about your visitor's mobile device. 
If you want to know how big the screen is, can it handle GIFs or PNGs, uh, is it touch or not touch, which carrier is it on, all those types of questions and more, these, devices, or these libraries specialize in offering you. But if you just want to know, is it a freaking iPhone, <laughs> mobile ISP is awesome. Uh, and I wrote the code too, so it's very, very easy to uh, customize. Uh, for me, readability is very important because I can't do like one single line of code that has 14 different if-then statements and uh, applet, you know, ways to handle that. I can't do that. So, <laughs> well, it's too hard. So I wrote a very simple, easy, uh, easy read code, so it's very easy to customize as well. Um, and I, if you're a JavaScript fan, I'm in, currently in the process of creating an object-oriented version of JavaScript. Uh, so let me know later, and I'm, uh, I'll be beta testing that probably this week, putting that up for the community. Um, one of the a guy who's on our mailing list, he's a QA engineer. And he's like, dude, where are your user agent strings that you use for testing? Because mobile ESP actually does very smart sniffing of user agent strings. And uh, I said, oh, well, I've sort of been casually doing it. So now I have a real list. I will be putting that list out also. Thank you very much. That's the quick talk. Uh, please don't mind saying hello later.